Okay, I'm getting wet. I have no idea how much of the video survived because it's doing that thing when it turns on and off again. Uh, I am testing out my bike packing equipment. I have packed far too much stuff. The whole thing weighs, well, including me, about half an amber. Maybe a bit more. Um, yeah. I am five miles in. I've come up a couple of big hills. And there's a lot more in my near future. Oh, and it's rain. So yeah, my nice day for going bike packing is uh, pretty much traditional, I guess, kind of summer holiday kind of weather. Oh yeah, that's nasty. Uh, there's, there's, oh, ugh. Sucks. Not very much I can do about it. It's uh, inside the camera. And uh, as much as I'd like to replace the camera, that's not, uh, it's not an option at the moment. Okay.
getting whiffs of weed. And occasionally wild garlic. shelter from the hedge, so that's good.
So yeah, I'm just going to shelter here. Uh, because it's horrible. Good morning. Uh, I made it to uh, the place I'm camping at. It is utterly beautiful here. Uh, I'm not taking a tour of the site. Uh, I'm not taking a tour of the site. 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 I'm not taking a tour of yeah, it's been really windy, so I haven't really been able to do a huge amount of, uh, of talking because it's yeah, windy. Uh, so yeah, um, I arrived here yesterday. It was drizzly. Wow, it was low cloud basically. Cycling through cloud to get here, uh, which left me soaked and rather tired. I got everything set up. It started to get cold. And got in the tent and started cooking my dinner. Um, which is a very nice steak and some asparagus and some pepper sprouting broccoli, but unfortunately uh, you wouldn't have heard a thing because it was so windy. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have my breakfast, maybe make another cup of coffee, and then I will uh, take you on a brief tour of this campsite and um, hopefully see why I love it so much. Future videos aren't going to be me always at campsites. I've got, I've got some interesting trips to uh, planned out. This is just a uh, this is just a test, basically, to see what equipment I need, what what I don't need, more importantly. And um, yeah, I've kind of used all of it except maybe the chair, uh, but I like the chair. It's it's nice. And, comfortable um, uh, but it's a lot extra weight uh, I think a lighter bike rack would be useful um, that rack's quite heavy and the bike's quite heavy and the bags are quite heavy so we'll have to figure something out but, uh, yeah for now uh, this is uh, my view and if you manage to see it over there in the distance, there is Lundy. You probably can't on that, so let's zoom in a bit. Yeah, can you see it? Right in the middle of the screen, Lundy Island. Lovely. Anyway, uh, my sausages are smelling uh, like I need to turn them, so I will bring you back uh, when I'm having a stroll around the campsite. Okay, so yeah, I uh, just left the campsite. It was a horrible ride to get there yesterday. My camera kept stopping. And uh, I have no idea. Well, I, that, there's about two minutes of footage. Which obviously isn't enough to make a video. Well, I mean, it's enough to make a two minute video, but yeah, it kind of sucks. But yeah, here I am in Watho with my camera's misting up already because it's a bit. Yeah. Yeah, you want out of the car? and I really need to stop this video because I don't need to be listening to Geordie talking about Anne Boleyn whilst I'm riding home It's going to be horrible enough as it is. I think it's Geordie, it's Amber I can't stand. So anyway, 
I am going to be ridiculously hot. But I haven't packed very well. So I'm going to need these pockets. There's loads of stuff I wanted to talk about more ho. But uh, it was too windy last night. I need to get myself sorted out with some microphones. I'm sure I'll be able to do something on Morto again. Uh, I was going to talk about Mort Point, which literally means death point. Uh, so many ships have been lost there, including Roman ships, that's how it got its name. And uh, Ho, it's Old English hip for hill. So Mort Ho basically means death hill. So that's nice. <sighs> and yeah, it's quite steep and I've got... <sighs> Anne Boleyn's lipedema. About the weight I figured out yesterday. <sighs> Well, that's including me. No, that's kilograms. So, yeah. 150 kilograms of oh, mass. I only get up here. I've packed too much. Way too much. And this is going to take me a long time. Damage Barton. Barton uh, is another Tatum for a 45 farm. Uh, back in the uh, golden age of sail and piracy, uh, there are quite a few fortified farms around here. And uh, lots of pirates. I was going to talk loads about pirates at Mott Height and completely. Well, I couldn't because of the wind and the fact I was quite cold. 
so I'll probably have to save that for another video uh, if you'd like to hear me talking about North Devon piracy not like digital piracy but actual skull and crossbones pirates uh, let me know and I will uh, make that video uh, this trip was basically just an experimental uh, trip for bike packing uh, trying to figure out what equipment I need what equipment I don't need whilst I think I do need some of the battery banks the cool lights I don't really need that uh, so that's going to save some weight chair was very good especially since you can't really sit in my tent because it's so very small but I could probably do without that if I just got a slightly bigger not much heavier tent and didn't have the chair so might have to do that. I've got my eye on a tent that would fit the job perfectly. And then I could use the small tent for stealth camps, which I plan on doing. And then bigger tent for bike packing. And with the small tent, oh, I'd like to chair because I mean I don't know I have to figure it out annoyingly there's another uphill bit coming Hey, some of the misting's gone. Welcome back. Uh, it's getting cold. I am very tired. And 
Uh, and I've still got 12 miles to go. So yeah, I've barely gone anywhere. In fact, I've done four miles. And I'm feeling far worse than I was yesterday when I'd got four miles into the ride. And I wasn't feeling great then, to be honest. So yeah, uh, definitely need a lot less. In fact, if I could get it down to not having to use the panniers, I think that would be perfect. Which basically means I need to make my frame bag, because I've got a large saddle bag. Uh, yeah, should be alright. Uh, so the trips that I've got planned, well they involve quite a lot of cycling, unsurprisingly, because that's mainly what I do now. I cycle places and I know stuff. <laughs> okay. I am nearly at a downhill bit. I say nearly. Uh, I guess it's kind of nearly. And then there's a load more uphills. So yeah, um, I'm gonna try this trip again with a lot less stuff. In fact, I might go for a bar bag, large saddle bag, and a small backpack. Excuse me. So that'll be in about three weeks when I've got money to go to the site again. Uh, I also have some other things. I, I've got to do loads more riding because I really haven't done any training for the London to Brighton yet. Which, uh, Annoyingly, no one's sponsored me yet. Uh, the link to donate to my Just Giving pages. Put in the notes. Uh, I'm raising money for the British Heart Foundation. They do groundbreaking research into, well, the heart, heart disease, and. Uh, lots of other things to do with the heart. Uh, I only found out uh, just before Covid I think it was that I have a uh, bicuspid heart valve so that has to be checked on every now and then. 
Uh, it's all okay at the moment. Well, I say that, I haven't had it checked for a little while. Uh, but yeah, I think it's all right at the moment. That's as much as I can say about it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the London to Brighton is a bike ride from London to the coastal town of Brighton on the south coast. It is about 50 miles and there is a very big hill right at the end. Well, five miles from the end. Um, this will be the second time of doing, third time of doing it. Uh, the first time I didn't have a very good phone, but I managed to stream some of it. The second time I left my phone in the car, so I couldn't stream it at all. So this time, hopefully, third time will be the charm and I will actually be able to live stream it. Which I guess I'll do on YouTube. Uh, I don't know if... I don't know if I can use Restream on Android. That'd be interesting. I'll find out, I guess. Uh, I thought I said it was going to go downhill soon. Okay, so yeah, the list is microphones, definitely. Like a, a lavalier microphone would be very handy. I need to save up for a new action camera because, well, you've seen what this one looks like. And A better air map would be nice. I've got my eye on the one Tigris one. So, I'm gonna start saving up for those. Which will take me bloody ages. And then, <laughs> hopefully I'll be doing some more bike packing. As well as regular bike, but cycling videos. Uh, hopefully, a mixture of road, mountain biking, mainly cross country, I imagine, because, well, there aren't. Very lucky trail. 
sports centres. Drop something. Please don't hit it. looking horrible <laughs> just watching the cars just 
There's a slight. Is it downhill? Yeah, there is a slight downhill, and then it's just up and up. When you get to the top, though, there's a brief bit of downhill, a tight left hand corner, and then more up. <laughs>
the rooftop. Oh, yeah.